Question 57. A hiker faces the 01 knapsack problem. There's seven items to be packed into the knapsack, each with the value V sub i and weight W sub i as shown in the following table. Uh, is the 01 knapsack problem just means you can't put a fraction of anything into the, uh, the knapsack, so don't worry about that. The knapsack, which is initially empty, can hold a maximum weight of 24. So some items got to be left behind, fractions cannot be packed. Optimality criterion is to maximize the total value of the items they are placed in the knapsack. Hiker fills the knapsack one at a time using a heuristic algorithm that's greedy on value density. The value density of an item is the value weight ratio. I put the value weight ratios for each item here in red. When this heuristic algorithm is used, what's the total value of the items that are packed and is the total optimal? Well, it's greedy on value density. Let's go ahead and that greedy, of course, means we're going to pick the best one at each step of the process. Let's take a look. And optimal means you, that, that, the, that the algorithm ends up getting the best possible end result. So let's take a look at what happens here. What's going to happen here first is, let me do this in a different color. It's going to pick the best value density, which that is going to be item 6. Item 6 has 2.5 um, value density, so we're going to pick that one first. And, uh, and that's going to give us um, the, the value, the weight is 2. So let's just put the weight and the cumulative uh, weight and the value. So we have a weight of 2, the cumulative weight is 2, and the value is um, 5. And let's put the cumulative value is 5. It means all the values added up so far. So what's going to happen? This is step 1. Now what's going to happen on step 2? Step 2 is going to take the next highest item, and that should be item 2. Item 2 has a value, a weight ratio of 2. So what's going to happen there is the weight is going to be 3. So the cumulative weights now 2 plus 3 are 5. And then the value is 6. So the cumulative value now is 11. I hope you can see how that's working there. Let's try the third one. The third one's going to be, uh, looks like 1.6. Item 3 here is the next best solution. So item 3, that has a weight of 5, which gives our cumulative weight 10 has a value of 8, which gives our cumulative value 19. hope you're following me along on this one. Now let's see here, number 4 is going to be, let's try this bad devil, uh, the fourth one is going to be, looks like this number 7 here. So let's take number 7. It's going to be the fourth item on the list. The weight is 6, and the that makes the cumulative weight 16. And the value is 7, which makes our cumulative value 26. So you can see we're getting close. We can only get up to 24 on the weight. That's the maximum weight this thing is going to carry. So Now, the fifth one, what are the colors? Yeah, here we go, uh, is going to be... Uh, item number four, it looks like. Item number four has a value weight ratio of one. So here the weight is one. So that's going to bring us up to 17. And the value is one. It brings us up to 27. Okay, no worries. That's, that's item number five. This is step number five of this algorithm that we're going through. 
Now let's try six. Um, the next item we're going to get, the next one, we only have two more left. We have 0.5 and we have 0.42. So 0.5, that's going to give us... Item number, what is this? Weight of 5 is 4, which gives us 23. And uh, the value is 2, which gives us 29. Okay, so our, our total value is 29. And our total weight is 23. Now the question is, is this optimal or not optimal? Um, could we have done better? Well, the truth of it is, if we had put in, um, if we put in the other one, let's see if we had value, we, see here we have 17, we could have put in we could have put in this item here. So let me just say, let's like let's suppose that let's suppose let's separate this out here. What if we to put in the other item? Okay, not this one, but the other one. If we'd have done that, we would have had um, the weight would be seven, and seventeen plus seven is twenty-four, right? And then the uh, so we're still we're still within the capacity of the knapsack. And then the value would be 3. So the total value would be 27 plus 3, 30. You see? In other words, just because this had the highest value to weight ratio does not mean that it was actually the optimal solution. We could have packed our knapsack and had a higher value in it. So the answer is not optimal. And that is that is B. B, which is 29 and not optimal. That's the answer to question 57.